Hi guys, I've just been sorting out a um, problem that Saipan68 has had. Basically, he's had um, a bunch of files that he's recovered, which are all music files. They're WMA files, and they've um, recovered it into Recovery 1, Recovery 2, Recovery 3. And the actual um, names of the songs are inside that file. So I told him about MP3 tag, because MP3 tag works with WMA files, and it can transfer, it can uh, take the names inside it and make it the file name. Only um, he wanted to change them all to uh, WMA because they've been recovered as WMV. So I told him a DOS command that he could use, but he kept getting access denied errors. And then once I told him what to do, which was run it as an administrator, um, he then can use MP3 tag because it came up with access denied as well. So he had to run that as administrator to fix his problem. So I managed to get it working in the end. But what I'm going to show you this time is um, because this guy has obviously not got administrative rights um, on his PC, I'm just going to show you in Vista how to become an administrator and have control over your files and not have to worry about things popping up um, all the time asking you to, to continue. So. I've got Vista in a virtual machine here. I'm just going to show you um, well, it's pretty much one command you can do that can enable the administrator account so you can then sign into that and not have to worry about um, having access denied messages and things like that. And all your programs will be run as administrator. Because if I go to run Windows Media Center, it, you can right click and have run as administrator. Now, wouldn't you rather be that administrator and not have to worry about keep right clicking? So, anyway. All we're going to do is go to the start orb and type in a uh, command prompt. Now this isn't my own personal tweak, I found this on the internet when I first got Windows Vista so I thought I'd sh share it to you, uh, share it with you. Um, you can right click and then you, <laughs> this time you have to ironically run it as an administrator. So then it comes up with user account control. Continue. Now we're in a DOS box. So what you need to do is basically, this is the command to enable the administrator, administrator account. I think this works on all versions because I had home premium and I couldn't get mine running because they had tweaks for ultimate that did it but anyway you type in net users administrator make sure you have the capital A for administrator then space slash active and then a colon and then yes that says the command completed successfully so you can now quit this box and obviously quit this this is just because I've first started this Vista and now you can log off it will log off and you'll notice on the main screen administrator so I can choose between Duncan and administrator so I log on as administrator it's going to make a new desktop for me so this may take a while so yeah this this is Vista Ultimate I'm using this on uh, but it works with premium because my uh, PC came pre-installed with uh, premium home premium and I did it on that and um, what I'm going to show you when it loads up is how to log in as administrator by default and then delete your other account but beware they will delete all your my documents and things like that so you're going to have to back it up um, so right we're in administrator so now when I right click anything I don't have to run it even though it says run as administrator I don't need to do that anymore because it will run it as administrator because I'm administrator so next thing to do is log on by default to um, uh, into Windows Vista, that's what I'm trying to say, right, so I'm going to go with Windows key and R, run, and then here I'm going to type control, uh, user passwords, all one word, two, click OK, then you've now got a user accounts box, now all I'm going to do is untick, users must enter a username and password to use this computer, untick it, click OK, and it says, you can set up a computer so that users do not have to type a password name and password to log on, to do this, specify user, automatically logged on below. Now we just did enabled administrator but it hadn't got a password set to it because you notice I clicked in and it logged straight in so I don't need to set a password here um, but you may want to but you're going to have to go through the users control panel in uh, in the control panel so the users you have to make a password for administrator and then you just choose the default one you want here and so it was Duncan or administrator I'm going to leave these blank click OK and it's done so the next time this reboots it will log on straight into administrator and I won't have to worry about my other account now you need to go into control panel I'm going to go into classic view because I'm not a big fan of the other view and I'm going to go to user accounts I'm then going to go manage another account and because you're in um, administrator you don't need to worry about this sign and then I'm just going to click Duncan and then I can delete it 
and then I'm going to delete the file. You can keep the files if you want to access them, or I'm just going to delete it, delete the account, and it's gone. And I now just have administrator, which will log in as default, and um, that's pretty much it. So now I have full control over my PC. I'll have no prompts asking me if I want to do things, and I can rename files without access to noise messages. So thanks for watching my video. Um, if, the, if there's another way to do this, there probably will be, but I don't use Vista or use XP, so this is what I know from when I first had it. So thanks for watching my video, please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.